Hey, Missouri Nation, Jason here. Welcome into now day 19. And day 19, um, as we work into this segment of talk about aviation accidents, you saw yesterday uh, what was really the disaster at uh, Tenerife. And you see that, and tomorrow I'll be sharing more disasters, some near disasters as well, as we dive into this accident analysis section of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. And this video uh, is so important, not only to break up all the NTSB reports, but I just wanna pause, I need to make a quick point. This might be the quickest video in the Safer Pilot Challenge, but it, just because it's short doesn't mean it's not profound. I need you to understand this. The hardest thing to teach in aviation is good decision making. What you saw in yesterday's video, what you'll see in tomorrow's video and the video after that, are captains and first officers and just pilots in general with a lot of experience, tens of thousands of hours of experience, and they still make mistakes. And unfortunately in aviation, one mistake can, can do it, right? We don't have the option to pull over and call AAA or, or figure something out, right? We get one opportunity when it comes to this. You know, I can teach you the most amazing foreflight techniques and how to use the Avidyne like a pro and make you an amazing stick and rudder pilot like a, like a Hoover or Jaeger or Rickenbacker. It doesn't matter whom. All that is in vain if you don't know how to make great decisions. And I really take, and I talk about this a lot in the Aviation Mastery book, I have a different outlook on the decision-making process. So often we just look at it at the surface, right? Um, you have a macho hazardous attitude, you have an anti-authority hazardous attitude, and that causes you to make bad decisions. And that's right, but that doesn't take it deep enough. You see, it's really our belief system that has so much to do with the decisions we then make, which then lead to, lastly, our outcomes. If we break that up three ways, our beliefs lead to our decisions, which lead to our outcomes. So often we look at the outcome, we don't like the outcome, so we go back to the decision that we made, and we just make another decision. But if we keep making decisions from the same beliefs, we're just gonna run a loop over here. Decision, outcome, decision, outcome, decision, outcome, and we never change the beliefs back over here. We have to change our beliefs. This is, gosh, this is just true of life, right? If you, I, I'm not worthy, right? If that's your belief, that's gonna reflect in your personal relationships, in your job relationships, and it just keeps reverting, right? The same is true. Um, I'm a, you know, I can't land in a crosswind. That's my belief. Well, I make this decision to, you know, only fly to airports where it's right down the runway. And then one day it's not gonna be down the runway and that leads to this outcome. It's because I made the dumb decision to not go to an airport that didn't have the wind right down the runway. No, it's because you believe you're bad at crosswind landings and you needed to work on that belief and perhaps get the skill to change that belief first. Don't get stuck in the decision outcome loop. Go back to the source of it and look at your beliefs. And gosh, that applies to, to life as well. We're not trying to be life coaches here. We're just trying to be great flight instructors and deliver as much value to you as possible. Look at what we learned about yesterday, right? Uh, you see this, this KLM pilot who is just the poster boy of KLM, just this real superstar elevated in their marketing materials, probably one of the most senior captains, I believe. And it's just, that sort of stuff goes to your head, right? When, when you believe, uh, maybe that's that invulnerability hazardous attitude. When your belief is you're untouchable, you make decisions that give you outcomes like that. Do you, do you follow me with that? I said this was gonna be the shortest video in the Safer Pilot Challenge. I think I fibbed, so I'm apologizing. It's, it's so important though. I just wanna share that. We have a different look on decision making. Decision making goes one level deeper and most people are afraid to go a little bit deeper in aviation and in their personal lives too. Again, we're not life coaches, we're just flight instructors. But we love psychology and psychology relates to just so many aspects of aviation and of course, our lives with that. M Missouri Nation, you can love our steep turn videos and our stall videos and our Power F 180 videos and, and we love that you do. 
But all of that learning is in vain if you can't make great decisions. Knowledge isn't power, knowledge is potential power. You have to take that knowledge and go out and apply it to change those belief systems, to make better decisions, to then get you the outcomes you desire. So thank you for letting me elaborate just a little bit more on how we make decisions, how we teach decision-making as well to our online ground school members. If you've read through, and I hope you have your copy of the Aviation Mastery book by now, you know exactly what we're talking about. And Missouri Nation, you are a blessing to us. Hope you have a copy of the book, aviationmastery.com. If you do not, also to go see some of the live events coming up, aviationmastery.com. Have an amazing, blessed, wonderful day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. We'll see y'all.